uh, Philip and Thomas and the rest of them had a hard time believing what our Lord was saying. But he convinced them. The moment now is not whether they believe, but whether you believe. You take a moment now and say, I heard all that. Who sees me sees my Father. There's a heaven waiting for you. I am the way, the truth, and the life. It's a matter of you saying, I believe that. With all my heart, I believe it. And I say it too, in order not to be a hypocrite standing here before you. But there's always, you know, the threat of, I wonder, I wonder. But they had a hard time uh, believing it, though they were not brought up as little Catholic children in St. Joseph's school. Uh, they heard it for the first time. You and I heard it over and over and over again, and in some sense, it could be, you know, maybe a little easier, but it isn't so much a matter of ease or uh, effort or something, but faith is, you know, our choosing to believe, and I just pray, I hope, I plead with you to believe what our Lord says there. If there are certain passages in Scripture, you know, that we all ought to memorize, this is one of them. This is sure one of them. Let not your hearts be troubled. Everybody's troubled, you know, and the world is troubled, and the news is trouble, trouble, trouble. Our Lord says, let not your hearts be troubled, nor let them be afraid. Fear runs us, you know, they frighten us to death, frighten us to heaven. Don't be afraid, he says. You know, I love, I love those words. Let not your hearts be troubled, nor let them be afraid. You believe in God, believe also in me. And believe me, in my Father's house, there are many, many, many mansions. One for you and you and you, you know. And so, I mean, that's the joy of being a Christian. And so we come here, you know, and I love you being here, and I love you, and God loves you. And he's just saying now, hear this good news. Don't pay so much attention to all the bad stuff. It's always that way. Take the good news and make it your own. Well, this is such a great passage, but I know we have only so much time, and I just thought, well, maybe I could dwell just a little bit on the three words our Lord said about himself. He says, I am the way, and I am the truth, and I am the life. I am the way. Are you a dreamer? Do you dream? Everybody dreams. So many people say, well, I don't think I dream. Well, I don't remember it, and so on. Well, I'm one big dreamer myself, even when I'm asleep. And so I dream. And the last year or so, I started writing them down because they tell me so much about who I am. And I'm surprised that outwardly I'm pretty good, but inwardly I'm a very tr troubled man, I guess. I mean, that's what the dreams say. Uh, I'm always lost. I could tell you about last night. Lost again. Can't find my way. Always lost. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm always lost. And, uh, you know, finally you're glad to wake up because then you think, oh, it was just a dream. No one ever rescues me. I'm always lost. So I don't know about you, but that's uh, me. Uh, when we're awake, though, people love to give directions, don't they? Just don't take them from a woman. <laughs> you can do so many things, but I mean, you ask it, you know, well, you go down there and then you go over there and you go up here and down, you know, hey, I, it just, well, men aren't a whole lot better, but women are worse. We're all trying to get there, aren't we? Where, you know, do you know where you're going? You know how to get there? Our Lord says, I know, I know that you're here. You didn't ask to be in this world. And, you know, I give you this big life with all its troubles and challenges. And you're going somewhere and you're going to die. And he says, I am the way. Uh, one time, it was 39 years ago, I was in Tokyo. Japan. And uh, I was alone. And I don't know if you've been to that city, but that is wild. And all the language and the writing, you know, it's nothing familiar to me. 
and I was really lost. And I went to the railroad station and somehow I told them that I needed help. <laughs> and you know what that man did? He came out from behind the counter and walked me to where I had to go. And I remember him 39 years later. Now this is more how Christ is. He doesn't just point, he says, come on, I will walk you there. I will get you there. So believe that he is the way. And he's not just pointing, you know, under, but he's saying, I'll take you there. Take my hand and I'll get you there. So believe that. He also says, you know, I am the truth. Well, we are inundated, you know, we're just swimming in words, aren't we, in, in our world? You know, I just won't even begin to describe it. You know what I mean. Words, words, words. Trillions of words all the time. And personally, I just have to back off. I, would everybody just shut up? <laughs> just shut up. I don't like the phrase, but do it. Talk, 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 you know, and, and then all the, you know, all the stuff that we carry with us, and I got to do this, and I got to go there. Just madness. You know, you walk in the stores and you say, is someone talking, you know, you think they're talking to you. No, they're talking to their grandmother, who can't hear either. And so they're <laughs> all over the place. So, you know, where do we find the truth? The truth is Christ. And he doesn't just talk. He, get this now, he says, I am, I am the truth. You know, I am the truth. I'm not just talking. I am the truth. And he showed us how to live. And he showed us the truth by the way he treated people, the way he loved them, the way he forgave them, the way he cared especially about those who were suffering the most, those who, who were lost, who were widowed, and all the rest. And then, and then he suffered so much, you know, there he is. Father, forgive them. They don't know what they did. And he says, I'm going to rise from the dead. And he did. He says, you're going to rise too. Don't you doubt it. Don't doubt it. You're going to rise. You're going to rise because I made it possible. Not because you're good, but I made it possible because I want you in my life. The third one that he says is that I am life. If you analyze anyone here, you know, you say, well, what are you going to do today? And so on. But underlying all of it is...